Today we're joined by Peter Will, Product Manager for Lab Equipment for Ohouse. Good afternoon, Peter. Hey, Ian. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm well. Today we're going to be talking about centrifugation and centrifuge safety, which I know is a big topic for a lot of labs. Now, can you actually give our audience an overview of what centrifugation is? Um, yeah, sure. So a centrifugation is actually a fairly routine procedure that's performed in most laboratories in life sciences or in clinical laboratories when uh, they're performing research. So basically when a lab tech wants to separate out particles that are in solution, the most common method that they'll use is to transfer their sample into some type of centrifuge tube or a bottle or a plate and then place that sample into the rotor on the centrifuge and then spin it um, at various speeds depending on what they're trying to separate out. Now, depending on the type of sample um, that's being used, um, what types of speeds can um, you know lab users expect? Well, um, yeah, so that's a good question. So whether you have like high speed applications and then lower speed applications and uh, for example, uh, in research, when cell separation is involved, uh, that's typically for high-speed applications, and you could reach speeds of 16,000 RPMs or higher, which uh, is equal to you know g-forces of say 21,000 uh, to 25,000 times g. Um, but an example of a lower speed application would be more of a clinical application when you're doing blood separations. Uh, and in those applications, uh, we're talking about much lower speeds and g-forces of say um, three to four thousand RPMs and most likely under two thousand times g. Now, one of our biggest focuses at Ohouse is lab safety. Um, it's something that figures into every product that Ohouse manufactures. Now, how can a laboratory technician ensure safety? when using a centrifuge because it's you no know, it's it's a, a instrument that actually requires you know a fair bit of you know focus and concentration that's true um, and you know because the centrifuge reaches such high speeds and g-force um, there's a lot of power going on within that unit and it could be considered you know one of the more dangerous pieces of equipment in a laboratory so first and foremost i think the the operator needs to understand how to operate it and that could start with you know simply reading the operator's manual and fully understanding the features and functions of the instrument but then there's also features uh, built into the centrifuges that enable it to be more safe so for example starting with the lid itself you know, there are certain models that in the O-House line which have motorized lid locks, uh, and these would ensure the user that the lid is securely closed uh, and that they're designed with very durable components. So uh, if there were ever any type of disruption within that centrifuge, that lid would remain shut throughout and keeping the operator safe. Now, Peter, O-House manufactures its frontier range of centrifuges. And are there any specific safety features that are unique to that range of lab equipment? There are, uh, I'll talk about several of them. The first one is an imbalance detection system. So, which is essentially if the user in, uh, loads the rotor incorrectly, the unit will detect that there's imbalance and it will shut the unit down preventing uh, that imbalance from occurring. There's also something built within called automatic rotor recognition. And this is, uh, there, there's something within the rotor itself, an, an RFID chip that the centrifuge will recognize when they're loading the rotor, and it will automatically load the specifications for that rotor into the centrifuge, which essentially prevents the user from running that rotor at a speed which is too high um, than it's designed for. So that's another way that there's safety built into the centrifuge. Something else which is considered a safety feature, this is more safety for the sample itself. Uh, the, the user has the ability to 
adjust the acceleration and deceleration rates of the rotor. So if they're working with a very fragile sample, they might want to set the deceleration rate to slow down at, at a slower pace. So it's not such abrupt and it won't harm that sample. And then another safety feature is within the rotors themselves. So we have several rotors within the Frontier line, which are biocontainment rotors, which means that if the user is working with a hazardous sample, that would be contained within this rotor. It prevents aerosols from escaping during centrifugation, and it also allows for safe handling of that rotor within the sample throughout the laboratory. And I want to thank our guest, Peter Will, for joining us today on OCAST. For more information, you can visit our website at www.ohaus.com to view more and download information about the products featured in today's podcast.